Greetings Internet and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Last time we entered the research lab of a very shifty scientist who found out we had the PST and ended up capturing us and locking us in a cage but we teamed up with Garlic Kid and was able to save the day and I realized after I didn't really look at Garlic Kid so I thought I would go back really quick and just show Garlic Kid off so we did end up nicknaming him Bakura. I don't know why it was just a nickname that popped into my head. Well, we have Bakura here who's level 50, so it's actually under level compared to the rest of our team. He is in fact a grass fighting, which I've kind of noticed there's a lot of fighting type in Pokemon Uranium. At least there seems to be at Larkspur Research Lab, that's the name of it. And uh, has a hasty nature, which I think is normal, or neutral, normally. But whatever, it doesn't matter. Our little Bakura here is very frail in the defense. 82, and then even special defense is 101 with everything else being significantly higher, so he's kind of like Derp or her. And then the attacks, we already know, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Giga Drain, and Leech Seed. Uh, actually, before we leave the box, no, I meant to not leave the box. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but we did get a Shiny S51 as a special mystery gift event, and it is holding its Mega Stone. So before I got Derp or her, I once again debated S51, but ultimately decided not to. But, just showing that off, it's a, just much right like the uh, other shiny we got. It was just a random mystery gift. But anyway, we only have one course of action left, and that is to head up the snowy mountain in this direction. So I feel as though our lovely fire... It's actually kind of loud. Let's turn that down a little bit. Our little Iago. I know, I know he's flying, but we'll just roll with it in this icy tundra. I see a Pokeball. Ooh, a full heal. Hopefully we're not getting frozen a ton, but we're in the final stretch. At least for now. Ah, oh, crap. I want to try and get out of the grass. Well, let's see. There's a little poof left. I'm guessing, and hail is falling. It's about level 35, though, so we're not going to bother. Um, I'm actually going to try and do my usual and skip as many trainers as I can. And then when I inevitably probably need to train again. I, okay, no, I thought I was stuck in the snow. When I inevitably need to train again, I'll go ahead and come back and fight everyone. But for now, let's see what we... Why am I not riding my bike? So, what is this? Lanthanite Cave. Is that where we need to go? What happens if we go this way first? Oh, right. There we go. Uh, there's more route this way. <whistles> Nothing to see. I'll grab that item later. Mm, look the other way. YOLO! <laughs> okay, so which way was the... Was the cave the right way, or is this the right way? It doesn't seem to be an end. Oh! Jesus, you saw me from so far away. These snowy mountains are full of dangerous things. Yeah, like trainers. <laughs> Wait, don't want to battle. You don't know a dragon tamer. Okay. I was thinking like ice types, but dragons are cool too. Are you an ice dragon by any chance? Hmm. Well. Okay. And of course we're buffed by the hail. Okay, so maybe Tsunami is the one. Can we burn you at least? <laughs> Let's go with that since we're going to take hail damage and you know Rock Slide too. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you know Rock Slide? Actually, I guess I don't even know if this thing's a dragon. I'm just assuming because the trainer was a dragon tamer. Haha, <laughs> you got hurt by your burn. Uh, actually, yeah, this isn't a Nuzlocke. We're just going to let you die. I'm sorry, buddy. We'll go ahead and launch off one last flamethrower. And then, yeah, you go ahead and rock slide. Break Iago in half. Poor Iago. I got plenty of revives, though. I'll bring you back, buddy. Everything's okay. So let's see if this thing is a dragon once and for all. Go for it, Tsunami. And you got hurt by your burn. <laughs> Alright. So, Ice Beam! Okay, I guess it's not a dragon, because that wasn't super effective. Faffer. That's the same thing we just fought, isn't it? So maybe it's like an ice... Let's try Dazzling Green. Ooh, sparkly. 
That was super effective, so maybe you are an ice dragon. And that's why Ice Beam wasn't all that great. Oh god, Tsunami! That's gonna hurt. These things are gonna be a problem if this is what the gym leader has. Hey, we don't get hurt by the hail. At least I don't think we are. That's good. Let's uh, come back! God damn it. I know that's not gonna do well. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't very effective, but. Haha, you got buffed by the hail, which is gonna kill you. <laughs> well, way to go, Tsunami level 56. Good for you. <laughs> Alright, well, we might as well stay in. Hello again. We're gonna try this again. This time you're gonna accept my surf. So, yeah, Tsunami's not affected by the hail. So that's a thing. Well, I guess that makes sense because Tsunami's a nice type. Tracton. That's that steel metal thing. I think. Yeah, you. I remember you. You're hurt by the hail. And probably by an iron hit. Why you gotta be like that? Yeah, ice cream! <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, not enough. But you are gonna get hurt by the hail. And you're faster than me, I just noticed that. Oh, good, and you have speed boost. Uh, you know what? Let's not take any risks and just... Make sure we take you out or flinch. That's cool too. Oh, come on, die by the hail. That'd be funny. And now you're even faster. How fuck are you faster than me using a full restore? Or a hyper potion? Whatever. <laughs> HP was restored. And once again, rocking the iron. I mean, at this rate, we can just stall. Hail's gonna kill you. Thanks, weather. Oh my god, Turlard, huh? <laughs> what are you, just kind of like showing off all the dragons that we're inevitably probably going to end up fighting? Bam! And you're pretty frail, so I wouldn't be surprised this took you out. Bye, Voldemort's cousin. <laughs> and we defeated Kim. Clearly, you can handle yourself. Yes, clearly I can. I was well aware of that fact before you messed me up. Uh, revive. That's what I wanted. Alrighty, Yago, come on back. And then heat potion for you. And heat potion for you. So Kayla's gonna be kinda useless, I think, in this area. Because I'm guessing the ice and all that. I'm not really sure. Either way, we'll stick with that for now. I'm not really focusing on anyone training-wise. We're just kinda rolling with it. Uh, actually, while we're thinking about it, let's go ahead and use a super grapple. No, I only want to use one. So, there's more icy slidey over. That way. Are your Pokemon adapted to the ice environment? Mine are. Bandhead, let me guess, you're not going to have any dragons because I just took Iago out of the front. Oh, but it's a double battle. So that's super convenient anyway. Because Iago can come out anyway. Alright, Tsunami, why don't we start with... Actually, you know what? Let's just dazzle it. Oh, that's gonna hit a bunch of people, huh? Oh, Iago! How do you miss a flamethrower? And they hit a blizzard. That's gonna hurt Iago, though. Oh, that was about... How do you, both of you land a blizzard? But I can't hit a flamethrower. That's not fair. Okay. And of course, Iago's the only one hurt by the... Uh, Alright, well. Let's try this again. Because in theory, if both these moves hit everybody, then everybody's gonna be dead. Oh, look at that. Bye, Puff Fluff. Yeah. Well, would you look at that? I take it that's the evolved form. Turns its tail into a snowboard? That's interesting. Wait, did the other one avoid the... Of course it did. Uh, poor Iago. Okay. No, Tsunami, you're actually gonna fight. Um... Uh, well... Just stick to what you know. Dazzling Gleam seems to be working somewhat. I just saw a nugget. I should be selling that. Why am I keeping it? 
for safekeeping. The HP was restored. Dazzling gleam. Whee! There we go. Tsunami getting a critical hit. Good job. I am so proud of you, Tsunami. Too bad this experience is... Wait. There's... No, because it looks more like the one on the right. So this must be a different thing. Oh, man. This is the problem with our fire type being part flying. I mean, screw it. Dazzling Gleam's working. Let's take you out. Present. Look at that. It's a Della bird. Now it's probably, hopefully, a Dedda bird. Hey, you're rocking a little 53s. Too bad it wasn't enough. <laughs> no those for anyone. Dazzling Gleam. There we go, Yagagur level 56. And we defeated the Ace Trainer. You seem ready, alright. Yes, I am ready. I'm ready to already be done, actually. It's that time again, it's healing time. Especially for you, just in case we get in another double battle. And by the way, I'm very good at ice puzzles. Like, pure genius. Just, hello. <laughs> See? I got that nugget. First try! I'm awesome at ice puzzles. I never get confused or go back the way I came or anything like that. That never happens. So there we go. Wait, there was a thingy. Check the rock. I found a moonstone. <laughs> so this is a much a lot like the leaves. So then when I go up, and then I can go here. I want you to protein cool cool but anyway this is a lot like the leaves back in the other place repels effect one yes in that the snow is kind of lagging the game a little bit I don't wish to fight you hmm I still don't even know if I'm going the right way I'm just kind of guessing well looks like my guess is correct because this is a nice warm place in here <laughs> Well, we did it. We're in Snowbank Town. We're already here. This is cool. Hello? <laughs> You've reached chilly Snowbank Town. Is it? What's the sign say? Snowbank Town, a village where they're in powdery snow. Very cool. Get it? <laughs> Do you heal? My boss looks at Pokemon teeth all day. He even put his hand in a furnace mouth once. I don't know what that is, but are you a dentist? Hello there, I'm a Pokemon dentist. I don't want to make toys anymore. I want to be a dentist. <laughs> Which is probably the joke since we're in the snow area. Yes, even Pokemon need to keep their teeth clean. Not to mention, there are many attacks that require a strong bite. I can teach these moves. Only charge a modest fee each time. Okay. Ooh. So we can teach people the fangs. Well, those who can learn it, I'm guessing. Um, actually, what do we, can anyone, Dirk for her can learn Thunder Fang, hmm, let's, let's pause for a moment and take a look, so you're 75, 90, you're 80, I'll have 100, 75, 100, and you're 65, 95, so you are not better than anything we have, so never mind. <laughs> yes. I want, well, everyone, maybe, can Goku learn any of the, can Goku learn Crunch? No, Voldemort can learn Crunch. What do you know? What do you know? I forget. Oh, yeah. That's what you know. I kind of... Do I really need spikes? I mean, I got Will-O-Wisp. I've got Toxic. If I really want to try and hurt somebody. You know what? Screw it. Let's get rid of spikes and teach Voldemort Crunch. This seems like something Voldemort should have. So there you go. You learned Crunch and... 
That's 5,000. Jesus. Okay, well, that's fine. That's that, then. Take some toothpaste and a brush to go. Would you like a balloon as well? That's a shame. Make sure to floss regularly. So that's kind of cool. So, ooh. Nighttime. So now Voldemort knows Crunch. I'm guessing this is the Mart. What do you have to say? Oh, God, that looks terrifying. Let's not go out there. This town is always so quiet because of the falling snow. Take a moment to rest and watch the snowflakes drift down. It is very cool. And there's Pokemon Center. It reminds me of Christmas time. <laughs> Hello, old man. Hey, you there. You're a trainer, aren't you? Me and you be challenging the gym? Perhaps you'd be wanting some advice? Yeah, sure, old man. To challenge the snow paint gym, you have to pass a series of trials. These are meant to test your strength as a trainer and your wisdom to make the right choice when it counts. Your ability to adapt to different conditions, your Pokemon's faith in you, and your faith in your Pokemon and your strength to discern truth from lies. If you fail any one of these tests, you'll have to start from square one again. Boy, let me tell you, it ain't easy to get up when you're knocked down. But keep on trying. That's what it takes to win. Because only when you pass the trials and defeat the leader Varen can you unlock the true power in your Pokemon. The power of a mega evolution. How would an old man like me know all this? Well, to tell the truth, I used to be an occult of the dragon myself. Now the winter cold on the mountain causes these old bones to ache and stiff breeze could snap me in half like a twig. So I stay here by the fire, which you currently cannot see, giving advice to trainers as thanks for listening. I want you to have this. Eh? What's that rock, you ask? Well, you can't use it now, but once you go and through the trials, you'll be able to use it to trigger Mega Evolution in a Pokemon. Good luck. You'll need it. Why wouldn't you give me the Mega Evolution Stone for my starter? Out of all... I mean, I guess that's the... <laughs> he was following me. I guess out of all of... I mean, that was the gift Pokemon we got. So I guess it makes sense. But at the same time, it's just like, ah. Uh... Hello? How's fair? No, I don't need Go away. Hello? Yo, dude, these ones are mad gnarly. That's cool. <laughs> mad gnarly, bruh. Hello? Ooh, I'm so cold. Say, do you have a bubble one that knows the move overheat? That would definitely warm this place up. I don't. That's too bad. I mean, I. I wonder what happens. Hmm. Do I have anyone in my box? Do I have overheat? Hmm. Isn't that what Tico gave us? I do. Hmm. Hold that thought. The move overheat, you might ask, as opposed to any other fire move. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. This flogger used overheat. I taught flogger overheat just because I'm curious. That's much better. Here, take this as thanks. Allow for Donstow. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> Man, and I was thinking it was going to be something super cool, and instead, it was just Dawnstone. You know, you figure, like, hey, I used overheat and heated up the place for you. Maybe it's going to get a little hot in here, and we'll have some quality times. I mean, you give me a really cool item. <laughs> All right, Voldemort, come on back. And you, you go back in the <laughs> Where you put it all? Uh. So then, Snowbank Town, what else do you have to offer me? What's in this house? Hello? Oh, your Pokemon looks so cute. Here, give them some of these. Rare candies. I just love seeing Pokemon that are happy with their trainers. You take good care of them now. That's cool. My wife is very generous to passing trainers with how difficult the gym is. They need all the help they can get. So what I'm gathering is this gym is hard as... I love Pluff Fluff. It's so fluffy. Okay, well... How many rare candies did you give me just now? Um... Name here. Give me three. Okay. Well, I mean, I could use it to bring my three remaining people up. 
to 56. Um, well, let's think realistic. As I know the last gym leader, or the last, the seventh gym leader is a dragon type. So, Voldemort can use Dragon Rush, but he's probably going to get destroyed with a dragon move in return. You know what? Screw it. Let's just keep everybody at 56. Fissure? That's one of those, like, one hit KO moves, isn't it? Yeah, the user opens up a fissure, the ground just starts instantly faints. Oh, man, no. Don't learn Fissure, because we're going to miss it a million times. And we'll elevate their part to level 56. Well, thanks. Now my team is evenly leveled again. Yeah. If you gave me like 10 rare candies, that'd be crazy. Do you know the Pokemon Applico? Applico. If you've got one and want to trade for it, I don't know what either of those are. Hello. I carved some wicked edge of the mountain today. That... Uh, it's fantastic. So I'm guessing the gym is this way. I can't read this sign. Um, let me make sure there's nothing else going on. Um, uh, do I... You know what? We're going to go explore over there, but just in case, we are going to save the game first. Just in case. For some reason. Okay, is there nothing? Okay. Hmm. Alright, I guess it's just for the lulls. Alright, never mind. I still have plenty of potions, don't I? 23, 14, 19 full heals. You know what? Let's see what's in the mart. <laughs> Why not? How many of you? Well, I would greatly appreciate it. Max potions. I think we're still good with hyper potions. So we have 23. Let's buy 7. Actually, you know what? Let's buy a few max potions too. Why not? We'll just buy 10 of them. Just to have them. Uh, plenty of revives. Uh, how many full heals did I have? Yeah, we'll buy one full heal. <laughs> there. That should be good, right? Alright, so let's go see the gym. Actually, let's save it one more time before we do. Because... I don't know what's gonna happen up there, man. Shit's about to go down. Everything I hear says that this gym is super hard. No. Ooh. How did you get here before me? How? When I went into the labyrinth, you were training to fight the last gym leader. So in the time it took me to go through the labyrinth and get here, you beat the gym leader. The previous gym leader went through the labyrinth, passed me, and somehow I didn't notice you, and are now standing in front of this gym. How? No. You did not beat me here. I'm going to run. I didn't think so. You look different, too. Swaggle, were you here to challenge the gym too? I guess I made it here first. <laughs> Surprised I look different? I got some new clothes in Silverport. That t-shirt wasn't working in the cold weather. That's a good point. I didn't change my clothes. Plus, now I look much more badass. Er, anyway. <laughs> Little kid saying badass. I hear this gym is supposed to be really tough. Apparently, there's trials you gotta face. But if you beat them, you get the power of mega evolution. Cool, huh? Though apparently the gym leader's no pushover either. Yeah, that's what I hear. Hello, who are you? A quail. Ah, you two. You want to challenge the gym, no? Very good. This gym challenge is customarily undertaken in pairs. Of course it is. Do you hear that? We get to tackle this gym together, me and Swaggle. Uh, well, not exactly. You will be split up for the trials, but reunite in time to take on the leader. Sounds good to me. What do you say, Swaggle? Ready to take on the gym? No! Yes. I guess. We'll find out. Okay, we're ready to go. Follow me. There's no turning back now. In order to challenge Gym Leader Varen, you will need to complete five trials. Once you begin these trials, you must complete them all 
without stopping. If you choose to leave or you fail a trial, you must begin the test over from the beginning. I should also add, you will need a Pokemon that knows strength for the first trial. If these terms are agreeable to you, we will begin with the first trial. Well, Voldemort knows strength, so we're good. Swaggle, your door is on the left. Theo, take the exit to the right. Let's do this. But I don't want to... No, I want to go with my buddy. Theo! Well, then. What's this? This is like remnants of Tico's gym. I don't know, but this gym is awesome. So far. I guess we haven't really seen it. Hello. Well, now I'm trapped. This is your first trial. The trial of strength. Show that you have the power to bend the world to your will. Oh, you want to see my power? Allow me to show you what happens when people mess with Swaggle. Have you not watched the Swaglock? I have no idea if I'm doing this right. You go that way. Hmm. If I push that up, it's going to block. Mm. Let's see. What happens if I mess up this puzzle? I feel like I already have. Because if I push that that way, there's nothing. Maybe I... Get out of my way, old man! <laughs> if we... Oh, actually. You go there. You're in my way. You go that way. You go this way. I don't know why. Why not? We're bending the earth to my will. Uh, yeah, I messed up. How do I? Well, I mean, reset the room because <laughs> I, I done messed up. Okay, so. Oh, no, that. Actually, yeah, I got it. I think I got it. So if we move this one up, we can move this one and then gently go around it to push this one up and then push this one over. Nailed it. Hi. How did you get over here? Very good. You have surpassed the first part of the trial. Now see if you can overcome my might in battle. Hey, I wasn't part of the deal. Trofgar would like to battle, huh? Barrand. Hey, he's got a level 55 ice beam. Why are you faster than me? Well then. Hmm. Cup was fuller than I thought it was. <laughs> now I'm open. The Baron fainted. Tsunami level 57. <laughs> Far from. That was the ice dragon. Yeah, that thing. Dazzling gleam. I should have healed. I've only got five dazzling gleams. I didn't even think about PP. Well then. That's going to be a problem. Uh, okay, well, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to beat this guy, then I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. I know I'll have to redo the first trial again, but that trial is super easy once you actually, like, stop and think about it. And a Turlard. Well, you're faster than me. Ah, <laughs> that's fine. I guess. Excuse me. Come on out, Voldemort. Let's have a dragon fight. Dragon rush him right back. But I will heal everyone up so everybody has max PP. And then I'll redo the first trial. And all that other happy stuff. We defeated you. We win. You have shown your strength. Yes, I have. Thank you for noticing. Well done. You have passed the trial of strength. Go onwards. All right. But before we even... Oh, I was not even touching it. Ah, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> not quite done yet. Man, that guy was tough, but I beat him. I guess you did too, Swaggle. The next trial is the trial of wisdom. Theo, go through the door at the right, and Swaggle go through the one on the left. Uh, 
Okay. Well, we're actually going to end this episode right here. And for the next episode, we're going to continue the trials and maybe take on the gym leader, too. I didn't realize the route would be so short. I know last episode I said, like, three to five. But hey, tomorrow might be the last one. Oh, well, what perfect timing. My son is awake. So anyway, give it a like button, a nice little poke from me. Scroll on over and click that subscribe button for more. Don't forget to scroll down, leave a comment, and check out the next swag And I'll see you guys next time. Ow! Ow! Somebody oh, hit me! Oh, Ow! Oh. God damn it! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was hitting Wait, the turtle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought I was not hitting you. No, I didn't. Well, I was gonna to talk to you next, man. You! Can you understand what that owl is saying? What is that device in your hand? Hello.